Hey there everyone, Round the Wheel here, and we're watching Seiken Densetsu 3. You're watching it, I'm watching it, everybody's watching it. Today we are off to the Forest of Wonder, if we can ever find a, a non-finicky place to land here. Come on, where is a good spot? It's probably right here. Probably not so much in one of those narrow little tunnels, but this is one of those places that can't be accessed by land. So, we haven't really seen it or gotten used to it yet. Ah, yes, probably time for an armor upgrade. That sounds good to me. We got lots of choices here, I'm sure. What's... No, still... Still the same old stuff so far. Yeah, we're totally equipped as far as armor goes, but what about weaponry? Can we... Can we heighten our offense yet? Be pretty sucky if we couldn't. And we sure can't. That's probably because we're up to the level of everybody else so far, though. So, alright, kitty cats. You're useless to me at the current juncture, so we're just going to fight Black Mushglooms, or Darth Matangos as they're called. Very Star Wars secret of Mana-y, but we are on the level with them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 34, so shouldn't be anything here that we haven't really faced yet. And the God Beast here is another one of those neutral ones, like... Okay, that looked like it was going to be like Rabbi Rainstorm or something. What is Foundation? You look like you're increasing your defense significantly. Which doesn't appear to be the case. And holy shit, why didn't I heal before I came here? That was probably stupid. But I think if we keep moving in this general direction... If we keep moving, like, up into the right... Okay, sure. Lady bees and giga crawlers and whatnot. I'm sure this will be just, like, an even more fun version of when we got tromped by all those honeybee-type things in. There we go. Oh, this is way better than when we were in the flower garden. Oh yeah, we're way higher level now. We are kicking ass and taking names. And yeah, this is another one of those neutral bosses like Dolan, so our spells aren't really going to work too well on him. Well, I don't like what you're doing. What is this business? Oh, Leaf Saber. He'll probably just heal up whenever he hits us. If he can hit us. <laughs> oh god, I love being that high a level where you can just tromp anything in your path. But part of that comes from the fact that I've been doing some light grinding. I did some grinding in the Ancient Ruins. And you already need a chocolate, honey. Come here. Not chocolate honey, but chocolate for my honey, rather. Out and into the light. And we'll want to keep going up and to the right. I think that's generally generally the best way to handle things. So, Oh, they're queen bees. I thought they were going to be lady bees again, or whatever their fun little name is. Come here and let me bastard slam you, you slammy bastard. And you still survived it. Not bad. I gotta give it up for that. Then again, I did do it, like, right when I saw you, so... Yeah, right in the jawline. I dig it. What do we get from you? Oh, we get that from everybody. That's no fun. Let's keep making our way up and to the right, though. I think, actually, we might want to go around the bottom way this time, though. It's not too hard to get... Or it's not... It's pretty easy to make your way through around here successfully. Oh, it just keeps going like that. Okay. Looks like the cave might be a bit of an optional venture, so... Okay, you die before you can do anything crazy, and I want to get in a few good licks on you, because... Oh, well, I probably could have killed her with whatever move I was gearing up to do. Let's go around and see what's in this cave. It may be a dead end that leaves to a nice, leaves to a nice little save spot. Actually, it's a big fat dead end. <laughs> wow, man. They didn't mince words there. Oh, does it just go around to... Okay, sure, what is this? This is probably just another... Yeah, this is a dead end, but getting the experience while we can get it is good. And if all you're going to do is stat buffs, then I am totally fine with that. Don't be gearing up for another spell. I don't know if my little... I don't know if my little head can handle that. Okay. Moving right along. The Force of Wonder is not too bad a one. It'll probably just be around the time we get to the boss fight that things might start to get significantly worse. But... Then again, Miss Palm is pretty easy. If we had some kind of moon magic, we could probably... You're just going to let us get through the whole... Yep, you just got to get through your whole animation, don't you? You spoiled little brat. And probably up here is another dead end. But I like fighting for the experience. So I'm going to tolerate this. What are you doing? Counter magic? I don't even use magic outside of battle hardly. So that was a stupid idea. You're stupid, and your strategies are also stupid. 
This will probably lead into a cave that's just a dead end. What does Darth Matango give out for a treat? Matango oil? What does that do? Well, it's in storage, so... I don't know what it does. It probably just heals our stats a little. Or heals our stats. Probably just increases them just a slight little bit. I'm not too worried about getting my butt kicked around here, so I'm not going to bother with a Dream Sea Herb. <laughs> but I will gladly slam a mushroom into the ground without hardly touching him. So... Wow, this cave goes out a long way. This... Oh, hello! Yes, we might be going the right way after all. I will take that full heal. Thank you very much. And we will save, and that probably means we are right up on Miss Palm. 12 hours and 50 minutes into the Forest of Wonder. Fantastic. So let's go through here. I think there's like one cave of enemies between... Yeah, between him and the boss, so... Or that might just be just way out... Of... What the fuck was that? Oh, hey! Wow, that's a nice little stat buff for you. Too bad it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because you just out-and-out out suck. So yeah, I think through the door to the right probably is going to be Miss Palm if memory serves correctly. That is also a great prize to get because I like having those around. Okay, so it's probably at least one more screen or so, but we're making it there. We're making it. We're making it work. We're making it just fine. Yes, I want you dead. You seem... For some reason, he seems more dangerous to me than the mushroom dude does, because... Because I don't know why. Probably because he probably has some kind of thing. There's Miss Palm. Okay. Oh, I like how we all just went in right at the start there. Okay, so what do we want to use against... We can use pretty much anything we want against this guy. Yeah, power up for me first. Can I use a Dream Sea Herb in battle? I cannot. I should have used it beforehand. That was a stupid move. But this will get me right about to, uh... This will get me right about to, uh, my normal beast attack level. Ow! I hope that doesn't hurt too bad. Eh, I'll live. Okay, so, and... Continue with... You need to continue with the stat ups. And then, you... Yeah, you. Let's see. Light is probably good for plants, so I don't want to give it light or water or anything like that, or anything that might be beneficial to a plant, so I'm going to set it on fire. In fact, I'm going to set it hard on fire, yes. Now we can start attacking, and she can also... Should have probably done a mind up first to make this hurt a little more. There we go. And we'll probably just repeat a little pattern like this as we go on. So, yeah, it's not a great spell, but... Oh, great. He's countering magic now, so... Oh, yeah, maybe let's not do that. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna go in with the physical attacks then, since he's going to be countering magic. That's going to bounce our spells off of him and hit us. So I'm not going to do any spells. But he might do spells. That was a weird-looking water moon slice. Oh, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, fella? I don't like the... Th look at this. Sometimes the little... He kind of reminds me of Tropicalo from Secret of Mana, because he's got those uh, bramble... He's got those bramble things going. Very nice. Oh, wow, that is hurting a lot. Speaking of things that hurt a lot... Oh, holy damn. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you survived that. The rest of us, though, you almost took a dirt nap, and I almost had to use a uh, grail. Uh, speaking of using things, though, how about how about a, a little mind up for yourself? Because that clearly hurt you more than it hurt everybody else. Yeah, on yourself. That would be great. What? What just... Oh yeah, honey drink for $9.99. I was like, who got healed for $9.99 just now? And if that was the enemy, then I'm going to be a little bit upset. Wow, that, well, sure. Once she does her physical attack up, or once she does her magic defense up, get her with a physical attack. That's probably smart. Get out. Do not let me get in those bramble things' mouths. Because they will pick you up and slam you down, and it hurts. So yeah, Miss Palm is easy because he just sits there. He has a few attacks, but they're nothing really horrible. Oh, Sleep Flower is no fun though. So uh, 
I like that, though. That's great. That's perfect. So we'll just keep wailing on this guy. What's a kill, Stinger? It sounds like it's got intent to kill. Cool silhouette effect, at least. Ow! Good night. Yeah, that'll wake a dude up for sure. Wake me up. I want to wake me up before you go-go. Yeah, grenade bomb on one person probably hurts more than on everybody else. Man, she takes those magic attacks really well. Gotta give it up for her. So as long as we keep up a little regimen of healing here. And yeah, get in there with your special attacks. Definitely. So yeah, we're not gonna bother with magic in this one. Because he's cast counter magic. And we have nothing to cast on him, I don't think, that will... uh. Yeah, okay. Just keep on attacking. Keep on spearing. Keep on rotting. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, there's the throwdown thing that I was not too pleased about. I think she needs to get a chocolate in her before she goes... I don't like her health very much. She's not taking this fight very well at all for some reason. I'm a little bit surprised. Ha ha ha! Oh man, I could not have timed that better. Wow! No, I certainly couldn't have. Good lord, chocolate for you. And let's switch me back in. Because... Did I do the wrong person when I was healing again? Damn it, those stupid colors. Okay. Okay, honey drink for me, definitely, but... Yeah, I think I did the wrong person when I was chocolating up. Let's do a honey drink for... Yeah, for Brianna this time. Yes, okay. Man, God, that just feels so stupid when I do that. Boy, he's getting aggressive. He must be about dead. I feel like he's almost dead if he's getting this aggressive with attacks like that. So, this is not a terribly long battle, and this is not a terribly... What is going on? Why am I not... Thank you. Ah, fuzzing out of my window. I hate it so much. Okay. So does counter magic wear off after a while, or is your AI just really stupid? Might just wear off after a while. Oh, I love it when there's no transition between those types of things. Fantastic. Poison bubble. Well, that is easily enough cured with a with a poo-poo grass. So, wow, first time one of those has come in handy in quite some time. Boy, he really hurts her, though. He knows how to lay the smack down on that little girl. Let's go ahead and do the level one tech. What's, uh, what's, uh, maybe you die before you do that? Not so lucky. Oh, well, man, for something called Kill Stinger, it sure is kind of weak. Not gonna lie. Uh, no, when I press the B button, I do a special, I do a water moon slice on you. You don't do, you don't do that. Jeez, man, she is getting tore up from the floor up. I almost feel like it'd be easier to use a Angel's Grail on her at this point, but the Angel's Grail doesn't really matter. Aw, I feel kind of bad for his little sad face there. Poor guy. You two can go away anytime now. Your boss is dead, so that is it for you, and that is it for the Forest of Wonder. That was a bit of a shorty area. Didn't get to level up too much, so I think we're going to stick around here and do that, because there is a great place. This is a great place for that kind of thing. Don't just boot us out at the entrance. I'm going to go through, and I'm going to keep fighting some more, and I'm going to get up to level 36 for the next bout. If you keep getting up two levels every time, you should be caught up to people. Like, let's look at the enemies now. In fact, also, let's check out our armor selection. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Padan, we're not worried about Padan yet. Well, we will visit it sometime, you know, after, after you know, we've got seven of the God Beasts down or so. Well, so we've got that to worry about, so that's excellent. Wow. Look at all this scary armor, especially for me. Boy, if this actually was reflected on your sprite, then I'd be a scary-looking Mofaka. Well, we'll get that done in just a minute. I want to see about the enemies, too, but... When you come back next time, we'll have new armor, and, yep, more powerful enemies now. So we are going to get on the level with them. Oh, yeah, they're kicking our little lily butts. All these little mushroom Darth Matango guys. Holy shit. Maybe not get so much in the fray if you're an idiot jerk. You were healed after the battle, and now you can't even handle a couple of mushrooms? Man, I need to get her, I need to get her strength up or something, because she is... She is not taking this well. 
I don't like it when you spurt baby shrooms. Stop it. I need to go somewhere and buy just, like, actual stuff, rather. Is she going to die by the time this battle is over? I'll be damned. She might actually die here in the space of a single battle. So that armor is very necessary. You just almost... Wow. Wow. I'm impressed at your ability to almost die. Look at this hard stare I'm giving you. I'm not going to break this stare. That's... Yeah, I feel like breaking your face right now because you're such a bad idiot at doing things. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy this armor. And then we'll be back next time and we'll go on to the next uh, god beast. Probably the, uh, probably the fire one would be the best one, I would say. So we'll probably go to the desert next time.